What's going on guys? Dave back again and today we're taking a look at something that came out a little while ago but I needed it for a conversion kit so I thought I'd do an unboxing and show you guys what ended up coming in here like I usually do. This of course is the Master Grade 1100 scale Gundam the Origin RX-78-02. Alright guys so taking a look at the manual I do like the artwork for this even though I'm not a big fan of the RX-78 I do like what they did with the artwork on here they did make it look kind of cool with this cannon on the shoulder and there is actually a conversion coming out for this guy though i am not getting him and this of course was done by bandai in 2015 so it's about three years old taking a look at page two and three you got your runner layout you get the layout of all of the parts page four and five six and seven eight and nine and of course how they end up doing in the center you've got some origin info more origin info, Gundam Rising, you get some pose shots on here. Now I do like one of the things that they included in here is this one's a little bit different than the other RXs as it has the hatch up here on the shoulders that open up. You have these effect parts for missiles. I, I do really like those and I hope that I'm able to use those in the conversion for the Alex. I don't know, but I do like the way that they end up looking. Pages 12 and 13, pages 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, Pages 19 and 20. Page 21 shows you where all the decals end up going. And you've got the back of the instruction booklet. You get one sheet of stickers, one sheet of foil. Runner A, you get the yellow parts, clear parts, some blue parts, and then you get the effect parts, which I actually really like. Now the missiles that they have are actually coming out of here, so you will have to paint those. And it actually looks like these two sandwiched together, but these are whole ones together, and they're kind of sharp. Runner B, you get two of, and here is a majority of the frame parts. Runner C, runner D1, and these are not in white. These are more of a cream, more of a cream white color. D2 is just the duplicates uh, that are needed on D1. Runner E. And yeah, this is how it ended up coming. These are kind of loose on there, but that's okay. I'm not even going to end up using those parts for the conversion. Runner F, you get shield parts, waist parts, feet parts. Runner G1, these are going to be your weapon parts. Runner H1, these are going to be more weapon parts. Looks like part of the cannon that sits on the shoulder. Runner I looks like, uh, I think these are arm parts. You've got parts for the shield over here, like the handle, some other its and bits on here. One set of beam savers one set of hands and these are the manipulators that are movable now you can tell that these are older compared to the newer ones because these just look super soft in details and i'm probably going to end up replacing these i haven't really looked through the alex yet to see if it has new hands in there but these are probably going to get replaced because i don't like these hands and a runner of polycaps all right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to make it short and sweet and let you guys see well, what came out in this kit about three years ago. But I really needed this for the Alex conversion kit from Infinite Dimensions. So I ended up picking this up from USA Gundam Store. I will put a link down below to be able to check them out. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to their newsletter because they're always having sales and things like that with 10% off coupons. Good deal. And in my order, I ended up getting this flyer Christmas Day Sale. This is going to go the 25th through the 31st. 10% off entire order. Use Christ at checkout. I will see you guys all in the next video. As usual, YouTube. Peace out.